Hello everyone, now let's talk about security misconfiguration issues. So the main cause of security misconfiguration issues are wrong application logic. So what happen is while developing one web application, the web developer implements some wrong application logic which results in security misconfigurations. So one of the common example is a user hides secret pages by unknown URL. Example, a web developer wants to hide some secret pages from the users. So it actually change the name of that URL so that the users can't be figure out that what's the name of that URL. So this is how the web application or the secret pages remain hidden. But what's the threat here? So the threat is that someone can brute force or fuzz that web application URLs in order to find some interesting URLs and if they are able to find that URLs which are hidden that result in so some of the misconfig security misconfiguration issues also results in path disclosures or even directory traversal attacks. Now let's have a look at one example of security misconfiguration issues. Now let's have a look at security misconfiguration issues. So here you can see that my OS broken web application is up and running. So in order to access the security misconfiguration challenge, let's go here. Here you can see security misconfiguration. Let's select the, this first one, secret administrative pages. So what's the goal of this challenge is or what's the aim is to try to find some hidden pages which the administrator has actually hide it from the user. Now what we can do is while testing the LFI vulnerability, we have seen that this muted web application is actually including all the pages from here from this parameter pages. So what we can do, we can actually try to brute force or we can actually try to find different different pages by doing some different attacks like dictionary attack, brute force attack. So to do so, we have to start our burp suite. So let me just open my burp suite here. So this security misconfiguration issues actually occurs when a wrong business or a web application logic is made by the web application developer. So here you can see that my Bob suite is up and running. Let me just go to proxy tab and it's running on 127 localhost IP and port is 8080. Let me configure my proxy settings of Firefox by going here to the options, advanced network settings and manual proxy configuration and here you can see that I have already configured my manual proxy through port 8080, just click on OK. And now if I just reload this page, you will see that my Bob suite has start blinking. So here you, we can see the full request, so it's a get request and here you can see the page parameter is actually including this PHP file. So now what's our aim is, our aim is to try to find some hidden PHP files which are being included in this web application. So now let me send this request to intruder. So to do so just right click and send to intruder and here you will see that our intruder tab starts blinking. Let me open this. So through this intruder tab we can actually attack the web application through different different ways like we can do password guessing attacks, we can do dictionary attacks, brute forcing attacks, simple list attacks and so on. So the first thing you will see here the target. So here is our IP address of Mutily Day and here is port 80. So now let me just click over here positions. So the positions is the main thing which we have to be take care of. Now what's the position is? So the positions are actually the points on which we want to do attack or we want to repeat. Now first of all the first thing we have to do it we all we have to clear all the points so just click over here clear okay now here is our request now what we want we want to send this request multiple times to the server but what we want that this file 
this this thing after the page should be changed in every request so now what we can do is we have to select this thing which we want to repeat or we want to change then click over here add and here you will see that this position has been selected now so here is the different attack types but for the time being click over here sniper now once we did this we have to select the payload we want to use and here you will see the payload set one and payload type is simple list there are a lot of another payloads like runtime file case modification character blocks brute forcer dates numbers and but we are interested over here simple list now let me just take you inside the Kali Linux and show you that the Kali Linux contains a directory called as word list where it has tons of words which we can use for our attack so let's go to USR then share then word list directory and here you will see a different directories contains the different word lists so as now we are interested in dictionary attack or a directory because we are finding a directory or we are finding the page so you can go to any of them these two directories just for the time being let's go here and here you will find a lot of text files already created by the researchers so let's see that what's inside a particular all the files let me just see what's inside this small.txt file hit enter and here you will see a lot of words and the file names which are actually present so what we can do we can configure our burp suite to pick all these words from this file and just start attack but here is one limitation in burp suite that we can add a list we can add a file list but that's only available for a pro version means we have to purchase a burp suite license or a pro version in order to access that feature but for the timing what we can do we can manually add items in our list so let's just add here demo.php file name then admin.php success.php secret.php hidden.php and so on so forth like just any random files dot php hit enter so now what will happen is our bob suite will send this same request to the mutated web application and then check it response but it will send this request by using these different pages by adding here okay let's go back to our payloads so now here you can see our payloads has been selected so if I just scroll down here you will see some payload encodings so what we have to do is we just have to remove this equals to sign and here you can see that I have removed this equals to sign now everything is set now let's go here to intruder and now click on start attack click on ok and here you will see that our burp suite has started the intruder attack and now it's finished so here you will see our request number payload its status code and its length so if I just click over here demo.php here you will see its request so here's the same request but what's the difference the difference is here if I just select the admin you will see the admin file is included in this request so if I just go here demo.php and now let's see that its response what's its response so you can see the response code is 200 ok now let's see the HTML content and now let's just render the HTML content let's see that how this page looks like whether this page is present or not and here you will see a 404 page not found ok no worries now let's select this admin.php and here you will see that we are successfully able to find a secret page inside the Mutilated web application and here you will find let me just go here here you will see that a secret PHP configuration page here you can find a PHP configuration 
so most of the time what the web developers do they actually hide some important pages or important directories from the user by just changing their names so what an attacker or a pen tester can do they can just try to brute force or try to some do any attack and just try to guess that directories and here you can see that what we are doing the same so success.php page not found and secret.php okay so here you can see that we have found it another secret php surfer configuration page hidden.php okay the same page secret server and not found and not found so this was how we can try to guess a different pages which are actually present on a web application so if you want to add the words from the file list then you have to buy this Bob Suite Pro Edition and I recommend you that if you are a penetration tester working in any infosec company or a web penetration testing company then do buy Bob Suite Pro version so in this video we have covered what are security misconfiguration issues and how we can use the Bob Suite intruder module to attack the Mutilidae web application and thanks for watching this video